up. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my like go-to makeup. So I use this for just going out casually, filming, even just going out, like going out. So um, I'll show you guys how I natural it, how I glamour it, and all that. So yeah. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so and also click the notification bell. That way you don't miss any videos. Let's get into this tutorial, shall we? So I'm just going to be talking through it because honestly I don't like the talking over it because I actually want to be real with you guys. So yeah. So first make sure that you wash your face, really important because you always want to have a clean base before starting and make sure you moisturize as well. That way you don't have some dry skin. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie my hair up so it's not in the way. Another big thing too as well, make sure your hands are clean because you do not want to put dirty hands on your face. So the first thing that I use is the Arbonne Primer. Arbonne is honestly my favorite makeup brand just because it's all natural, organic, and it looks after awesome my skin and it looks good. So I'm just going to put two pumps. I um, rub it in my hands and just put it on my face. Start with my cheeks and rub it all over. I'm very tough on my face just because I want to get it in there. And make sure you also put it down on your neck. So now that I've got my primer on, I'm going to be using the Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation in Natural Beige. I'm just going to do two pumps on that. I put it on my cheeks and my forehead, kind of just rub it all over. And then I get a third pump, put it on areas that's not on it. Make sure you put it on your neck so you don't have a different color neck. And I just rub it like this to make sure it's all on my face. And then we're done. I'm kidding. We're not done. I'm going to get my beauty blender after this and blend it out. So I get my beauty blender. I wet it, make sure it's damp and clean. Really important. And then I just literally just dab it until it's all in my skin. Nice and blended. Also, if you guys want any of these products, I'll list them down in the description. That way you can see them. With my neck, I kind of drag it just so it's not all in one spot, and then I tap it. This is so weird because I'm looking in my like camera to see if it's blended, and it's just like not a mirror. <laughs> also, I like to get it in my hairline just so I don't have a white hairline, and I also do it on my eyelids just so it's not a different color. Awesome, so now that I've done blending it in, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in color... 230 so I'm just gonna get that I'm gonna put it under my eyes in a square type motion and then put it along my nose bridge top of my lips forehead and chin just to highlight those features as those are natural highlights and then again I just beauty blend it Usually if I have any dark spots, I'll be using the Arbonne Concealer in shade medium, but at the moment I'm pretty good, so yeah. So now that we've blended, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier um, Transludent, Transludent, <laughs> Translucent Powder, and then after that I'm just going to put my Arbonne Powder all over my face in shade, um, um, I'm not too sure what shade it is, but it is like a tan type color, so yeah. The brush that I'm using for this is the Zoeva 134, just for under my eyes powder, powdering. So I'm just going to put it under like this. And I just brush it like a paintbrush. Because we're painting our face. <laughs> Guys, I'm not too sure if I should keep dyeing my hair blonde or going back to brown. Because... I don't know, it's just such an effort to keep dyeing it blonde, but I love it blonde, so comment down below what you guys think. Also, with this Laura Mercier powder, I put it on the highlights of my face as well, just so it's really set in there, because I get oily in those spots. So now that I've done the Laura Mercier, I'm going in with the Arbonne one, and I'm just going to use the Arbonne powder brush. I know it's dirty. I'm cleaning it soon. So I just do this, tap it, make sure the excess is off, and I just brush it like this. Make sure that's all over the neck too, so it's all blended throughout. You don't want too much powder because you still got bronzer and all that, but you want to make sure that your face is the same color. Okay, now that I've done my face, I'm going in with my contouring and blush and highlight stuff. So I literally use this album palette, it's got everything. I use this for my bronzer, highlighter and blush. So nice, the colors that <laughs> made no sense. They've got such nice colors and it's just so easy to have in one palette. And I'm just using the Arbon blush brush. Otherwise, sometimes I use the Zoeva 130, 105, which is this, which is really good for contouring. 
But if we want that sunkissed look, I'm just using a bigger brush so it's not too perfect, you know? So I'm just gonna do a kissy motion and then just brush it down. I like to circle it as well so it's not just a straight line. Make sure you also get that jawline because you know you want to have that snatched jawline. But make sure you also blend it into your neck because otherwise it's just a bit too much. I also like to do my forehead so I look sunkissed because who doesn't want to look sunkissed? Like they've just come from the beach. I usually do the three shapes. So I go one, two, three, one, two, three because that's just like the natural way to look. Also, if you want to be a little bit fancy, I just go on the sides of my nose. Even though I don't really care about what I look like, like contour wise, sometimes it looks nice. Contouring done. Next for blush and highlight, I use the 114 Zoeva brush. And on this side, I use blush and I just smile. Just put a little bit on because I don't like it too, too pink, you know? Also, start from the back and then go forward because you don't want to have just like pink and then that. You feel me? So, highlighting, doing the same spot. Not too much, not too little. And then after that, I do a little bit on my nose because I like a shiny nose. Rudolph the shiny nose reindeer is what I call it. And after that, I just put a little bit on my tops of my eyebrows. It's the nice little sun-kissed look, you know what I mean? Face is complete, now we're on to the eyebrows. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be a lot difficult because I don't have a mirror to look into. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in shade medium brown. So what I do first, I'm just gonna brush my brows up. I'm so happy I cut them first time ever and they look so much better. So I'm just gonna go in like this and what I do, I kinda, oh this is so weird not doing it. So I'm just gonna kinda just trace it down the bottom very lightly like this and then I do little strokes to make it hair like and then I just follow it all the way down same as that and then I kind of shade it in in the middle where I've got a lot of hair so it looks dark and then the top of my arch I make that more defined too also I kind of just do little strokes here just to make it look more you know bushy so now that I've drawn on my eyebrows, literally, I just brush them out so I don't have any harsh lines and it doesn't look too fake. And then what I do, I grab my Arbon brow gel and I just brush it up, brush it up, and then I kind of brush it down so there's no extra, you know, hairs that just stick up. They're quite alright because I cut them. So yeah. Now we're into the eyes. Honestly, I'm in love with Too Faced chocolate palettes. I usually use the little one and I focus more on this color and then like maybe a little bit of this and this on the um, lid. But today I'm going to be using the chocolate bar just because everyone loves it. And yeah, I'm going to be using this little shape type brush. I don't know what it is. It's a slant brush from Arbonne. So I'm just going to be using the champagne truffle here. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to underline my eyebrows so they look really nice and defined, you know what I mean? Yeah, this kind of just works like a charm, you feel me? If you want to have good brows, you got to line them. After this, I'm just going to be using this shading brush here. It's little, using the same color champagne. I'm going to do it on my brow lid. No, not lid, brow bone. <laughs> that way it just gives that extra pop. So after that, I'm going in with the Salted Caramel. It is my favorite color. It just looks so beautiful. And I'm using this MAC kind of just um, blending brush. I love it because it's so big and fluffy. And honestly, I'm just going back and forth on my little crease and just making sure it's all blended in. Um, make sure as well if you want to make it nice and fluffy. I like to go out a little bit up so it lifts my eyes. So go up instead of down, you know? I learned that I'm professional. Cool, so that looks all right, so we're gonna do the other side. So after I've done that, sometimes I might leave it for a natural look, but if I wanna go a little bit extra, you know, I use the Milky Chocolate, same brush, but now I focus it more on the outside, just to give it that more depth look, you know what I mean? Boom, look at that. But you still wanna blend it, just focus more on the outside. So this is like my filming type look, which I'm going to leave it here because I want to film a cute video after this. 
So if I want to go, you know, a bit more dense, a little bit more going out vibes, I will always go on with hazelnut and I'll just do the same with like what I did with milk chocolate and just dense it up a little bit. So after that, I use another shading brush, kind of like the Arbon one for my brow bone. This is just a Revlon one that I have and I'm just going to be using salted caramel and just putting it, tracing it under my eyes in my, um, where I put liner because I don't really like to use liner. I prefer using shadow and it just really makes my eye color pop so yeah I use that oh, hard cute well this is shadow done so usually I would just leave my eyes like this and just put mascara on but today I'm just gonna do a little bit more a little fancy thing I'm just gonna use the Olmay um, eyeliner crayon it's brown and I kind of just put it in my eye um, What's this? It's literally eyeliner, so you just line it with your eyes. I don't know, it just gives a little pop. I'm definitely poking my eye right now. <laughs> Boom! Okay, for lashes, if I have fake lashes, I will honestly just leave it, so... Because, you know, fake lashes just do it. Otherwise, if I want to go out, I put a little bit under my eyes, um, on my bottom lash. But today, we're going to use my favorite like one ever. It is Benefit Roller Lash. It is the best mascara ever. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. You don't have to because this mascara really does it, but why the hell not? And now we're just going to coat this on like no tomorrow. <laughs> my eyelashes are so bad at the moment because I ripped out all my falsies. Whoopsies. If my bottom lashes, I kind of just do this little brush type motion and it gets all of them pretty good. I like to move it like this because then it really gets in the lashes, you know? Does anyone else have a weird lash face? Because mine's this. Just because I like to concentrate so I don't get it in my eyeball. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad my lashes are. So if you're not satisfied with your lashes right now, I usually do the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara just to give that nice little thickness because, um, your girl's lashes have fallen out. So we're just gonna do this. We're just not gonna do too much. We don't want it to look like spider webs, but it really just gives it that nice little thickness. Basically for my lips, I don't really like to put any lipstick on because it's just a lot. So I just get a little con tip and I just rub off the excess makeup that's on my lips. If it wants to come off. Look at that, look how God did. So now that all the makeup's off my lips, all I'm going to do is, it's literally my favorite all-time lip gloss. It is Too Faced Lip, Lip Injection Extreme. Now what it is, honestly, I love the color on it so freaking much because it's just so nice and glossy. And then it kind of gives that little plump to your lips. And it gives it a nice little red kick to it as well. If you want plump lips highly recommend. Now to finish off this look, I'm just going to be using the Let It Set Arbonne Setting Spray. Feels so nice, man. I spray so much of that because it feels so good. We are done with this makeup look. It looks so, like, just natural, nice, kind of effortless and sun-kissed and it's literally like my go-to. I've been using it for a couple years now and it just never gets old. This is just a little close-up of it. Um, like I said, very simple, very sun-kissed type. See how my um, my lips are getting kind of reddish? That's like perfect color that we want, you know? So yeah. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down what videos you would like to see next because this was really fun. I'm kind of feeling myself now, so I'm gonna take a cute little snap or two. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.